This lesson is about plotting of fractions on a number line. For number 1, point A is on 3 fourths. From the given fraction, observe that the numerator is less than the denominator. Ibig sabihin, mas mababa ang numerator sa denominator. And if the numerator is less than the denominator, this fraction is less than 1. And if this fraction is less than 1, therefore, this fraction is between 0 and 1. Since the denominator is 4, we will divide 0 to 1 into 4. Well, after we divide this by 4, we need to consider the numerator, which is 3, which means it is 3 out of 4. So, this portion is 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, and 4 fourths. 4 fourths is equivalent to 1. That is why this fraction is between 0 to 1. Well, from here, we can say that this is where point A is because this is 3 fourths. So let's name this as point A. Another, point B is on 2 pips. As you observe, 2 is less than 5 which means this fraction is less than 1. And since this fraction is less than, less than 1, then this fraction is between 0 to 1. So take a look with the denominator. Since the denominator is 5, divide this by 5. Now, since the numerator is 2, it means 2 out of 5. So this is 1 fifth, 2 fifth, 3 fifth, 4 fifth, and 5 fifth. Because 5 fifth is equivalent to 1. So from here, we can clearly see where point B is which is on two pips. So this is our point B, between 0 and 1. Another, point C is on 1 and 2 thirds. As you observe, it is in mixed fraction or in mixed form. This means that 1 and 2 thirds is between 1 and 2 thirds. Now, the denominator is 3, so we will divide this by 3. And since the numerator is 2, we'll get 2 out of 3. So this is 1 third, 2 thirds, and then 3 thirds. 3 thirds is equivalent to 1, but the location is already greater than 1. Which means this is 1 and 1 third, 1 and 2 third, 1 and 3 thirds. 1 plus 1 because 3 over 3 is 1. That's why it's equal to 2. Well, from here, we can clearly see where point C is located. So this is point C. Another. Point D is on 11 fourths. It's improper fraction. 
So let us change this into mixed form. So to change this in mixed fraction, we'll just divide how many 4 are there in 11? We have 2. Now what is the remainder? The remainder will be 3. So which means to say that 11 fourths is equivalent to 2 and 3 fourths. Now, observe that the whole number is 2. Which means to say that this fraction is between 2 and 3. So we have 0, 1, 2, and 3. Since the denominator is 4, we will divide this by 4. So this will be 1 fourth, 2 fourth, 3 fourth, and then 4 fourths. But since it is greater than 2, it is 2 and 1 fourth, 2 and 2 fourths, 2 and 3 fourths, and 2 and 4 fourths, or 3. Well, from here, we can clearly see where point D is. And that's in. And that's our point D. And that's it. I hope you learned. Thank you.